Morning all, welcome aboard this fantastic 18 year old now VFR 800 and still such a joy and such a pleasure to get on and bring her out on a day like this well, it doesn't have to just be like this uh, because it's very rarely like this here in Ireland <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for being here and uh, you're very welcome um, today I want to chat about uh, a few camera updates I'm looking at and that I've been getting through default and then uh, on top of that there's always a a few other things to chat about as well. Always great to see a few other bikers out as well. Oh, they're so friendly here, sticking the leg out and acknowledging you. Not like, uh, oh, that's a cop. He's on the case of those two. <laughs> he wasn't going to be acknowledging me. <laughs> he was going very quick. I'd say, I dare say he's off to have a chat with those uh, previous two bikers. Anyway, uh, time for the sting and then we'll get into the video. Welcome to a very sunny island, very unusually sunny island. My God, we've been waiting long enough. Um, today's video is literally me coming out for a spin and just uh, telling you what's on my mind because there's a few things I want to talk about. I'll get on to the tech in a minute um, because the, there's a few new releases, a few updates, a few things I like and a few things I don't. The usual sort of thing in my life, you know how it is. Um, anyway, I hope everybody's well, have recovered since the uh, washout from the Northumberland 250. I hope you all had a, a good gander at those videos. If you haven't seen them, please go and take a look at them because um, even though it was a washout, we had great crack, Trev and I. And uh, if I say so myself, it really did make for a good few videos. Um, I, I, I loved editing those videos, even though it was a, a bit of a pain because I had to sync up all the sound afterwards. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> I shall leave that there. So first off, um, you might remember the dilemma and the problems I had with the screen on this VFR 800. This is my third windscreen, um, actually fourth, including the one it came with. Uh, and then I think this is my second deflector, uh, different types uh, of deflector on and off as well. Uh, and it just seems with this new Neotech 3, maybe I'm just picking up the noise a little bit more. Um, although on my other bikes, uh, my bikes sound a lot quieter with this helmet, so I don't know, maybe I'm just used to the bike now, but it seems very, very noisy compared to even my Street Triple, which is a fully naked bike, of course. Um, I'm really sensing the wind a lot, uh, so much so that I'm worried about the um, sound quality within the helmet for when I come out vlogging on this bike. So, uh, yeah, my first thing to tell you about is that uh, when I get home today, I'm going to be um, changing out the screen for one of the older ones, which were highly recommended, which I didn't like at the time, but now that I'm used to the bike and used to the noise levels, uh, I think I've definitely got to try something, because this is a bike where you really, really need to wear earplugs, and I know you should be wearing earplugs on every bike, um, but I'm literally out uh, for a spin to the shops today to get the school lunches for tomorrow, you know how it is. Um, when my wife said to me earlier, oh, she said, uh, I've got to go out and get the school lunch stuff for tomorrow. I said, don't worry, darling, I'll do it. Are you sure? Of course I am. Jeez, I'm such a chivalrous guy. <laughs> you know how it works, lads. When you see weather like this and you have a motorbike sat in the garage. Ah, yes. Not just me. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is... Uh, well, I'll tell you in depth uh, if you've got the time, um, but I will be making a separate video about it at some stage. But uh, I am rolling back. Oh, something's happened up here. Is that another cup? I am rolling back the technology on my bike. It's not a cop anyway, but something's happened. Ah, oh, it's a funeral. Pay my respects. There's a famous story um, about the Mayo team. Um, I've talked about it before, but the reason the Mayo team have never won the All Island final is that there was a curse put on them um, by the team bus, which then drove through a funeral procession without uh, 
stopping or slowing down or failing to pay respect and um, the um, the priest at the time who was leading the funeral put a curse on the team and said as long as that entire team are alive they will never win an all-island final uh, and I think as it stands there's only one surviving member of that team and guess what yeah they've never won an all-island final they've made it to the final oh my god like so many times but they've never won so anyway it's just respect isn't it you slow down for a funeral anyway uh, back to today's video this is the first dry weekend where we've had two days in succession of sunshine about bloody time too of course this is the weekend I should have been in Tenerife with guaranteed sunshine um, gutted I couldn't make that due to unforeseen circumstances shall we say there is a video explaining what happened there I don't know if that will have been out by the time you're watching this video but uh, actually I go out on this bike and explain exactly what happened as I've always said this is my therapy bike <laughs> it just grounds me for some reason I just I, I, I love it I think it's because you have to ride it so you concentrate more on riding this because it doesn't have the suite of rider raids and modes and everything else which can sort of lull you into a bit of a false sense of security I much prefer proper good old-fashioned motorcycle riding sometimes which is exactly what this is don't mind letting you know I'm uh, possibly in the throes of uh, looking for another bike as well um, I <laughs> the long-running saga with me and my BMW the R1200 GS so I really uh, don't know what to do whether to keep hold of it because it is getting a bit old it's a 2016 so eight years old this year but then what, what do I get to replace it but, um, that tired sort of story <laughs> that I'm sick of beating myself up with I did see in the motorbike shop yesterday um, I did see a Suzuki the V-Strom the 1050 engine that looked bloody gorgeous in the shop and I hadn't really paid much attention to them before uh, never ridden one uh, I was looking at a few YouTube videos last night from different riders with them I was testing them out and uh, that's the thing you know now please I'm not um, I'm not bitter here okay but it's got to the stage here I'm, I'm saying I'm not bitter I'd only love to be invited along on a bike launch but it's getting to the stage now where when I see videos from a bike launch I sort of skip beyond them because I want a, a sort of real-world review um, of people who own the motorcycle um, and what they've found after sort of a few months of riding likes and dislikes pretty similar to what I do um, in fact with uh, with my bikes which I own because of course if you're gonna be invited along to a bike launch you can't really slate the bike um, if I'm sent products from a company uh, camera stuff or bike stuff I'll always tell the company um, if I don't like it I'm gonna say it and if I really really don't like it and I think it's not worthy of even having a video made about it I'm sending it back to you and uh, let me tell you you would believe how many times I've sent stuff back and um, then the company have crossed me off their mailing list and uh, ceased all, con uh, all conversations with me. In fact, the, the camera company, Insta360, who've recently released that uh, X4 camera, which I have to say looks very good, but then the X3 looked fantastic on the website, as do all these products, you know. Um, there are people behind marketing. There's a reason we have marketing departments. Um, the X3, don't get me wrong, is a superb camera. Um, the only thing where it really falls down because of the bit rate, which I addressed with Insta360's engineers. We had our own little WhatsApp group at one stage when I was um, trialling that camera. And uh, I knew something was amiss when I couldn't get a clear answer about something called the bit rate within that camera because as soon as you zoomed in on a Insta360 X3 camera, the image fell apart the same if you try to grade it 
So, um, the bit rate was, it turned out, I found out, um, was extremely low, which, um, which is why you couldn't really manipulate the picture. You had to sort of live with what you, what you get out of the software. Now, it, it's fantastic for those, you know, um, shots to make it look like a drone is flying next to you. Incredible, you know. Um, now, the X4 is supposed to have a higher bit rate and allow you to zoom in. And uh, the big thing, of course, especially living in Ireland, because these days, as you see here, are very few and far between. So on a grey, dull, cloudy day, um, the picture would stand up a lot more with the X4. That's what I'm hoping. Um, so back to the beginning of this conversation. Uh, Insta360 no longer send me cameras because I addressed all of these problems on my uh, big review I did of, about, about the X3 camera. So I knew fine well I'd be off the mailing list or the free gift list for the X4. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'll probably still buy one just to to see what it's like. Probably make a few videos about that, and I'll probably do a separate video about where to mount it on a motorbike. Can you believe I've been motor vlogging for four years now, and um, my biggest ever watched video. Is a video I made about how to mount the Insta360 X3 camera on a motorbike using a selfie stick. I think it's had something like 130,000 views uh, and it makes me money every month that video. Recorded that about two years ago. <laughs> Happy days. So yeah I sort of need to do one for the X4. <laughs> I mean I'd never ever use the Insta X4 as a vlogging camera. Um, w where it would be sort of placed either on my chain or here, just switched on all the time because the file sizes will be massive, even though the X4 uses something called H.265 compression so Insta are claiming that the file sizes will be, will be the same as the X3 but if you want the maximum out of the camera and let's face it, they're claiming it's 8K, 8K. it is, as was the X3, a 5.7K but that is, it's really false advertising that, because that is looking at the full sphere, the whole the whole 360 degree image. Then you can say it's got a, all of this resolution. Um, but by the time you've exported it through the software in, in 16 by 9 format, the, I mean, the maximum you can get is 4K. So, you know, it, 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 it's false marketing, it really is. But if you were looking at getting a 360 camera, I'd possibly go with the X4 anyway. As with all these things, you know, it, it's only a matter of months before all the software updates stop for their sort of previous model, you know. And if you're like me, you always want the latest bit of kit anyway. I've got two X3s, so I'll probably sell them and then uh, buy the X4. Other than that, um, when I got my new Insta360, uh, no, Jesus, all these different camera names. When I got my new DJI camera, which you're currently watching at the moment, uh, on that uh, refresh care warranty, you know, I think you get, you're allowed to get two replacement units within your warranty period, and you pay something like 25 euro a year for that warranty period. I don't often take out those warranties. I must have known. Thank God I did that. Um, but so, so when I got this one for free, I then bought another one. Now, I don't have it here today, because uh, the VFR800 I find very difficult to re mount a reverse camera on for some reason. Because it tends to vibrate on this screen if I clip it onto the top of the screen. And then the wing mirrors here um, don't really like it to be on, and it's not a great angle from it either. So I'm only vlogging with the one camera today. Um, Apart from a, a few quick shots I might get just held on somehow um, with the reverse. But anyway, I bought two cameras the same. Uh, I, um, Jesus, again, there's so many different models. The Osmo Action 4s. And, uh, of course, I have the GPS remote now. Now, this is great. I don't use the GPS overlay in it. and um, Probably never will. Um, but what I do use it for is that normally... Now, I didn't really know I was going to be coming out today, so I would have been more prepared if I did. Normally, I'd mount the GPS remote around the 
the block here to the left of the throttle grip um, just so I can reach my thumb over lovely quiet road today normally this is even you have to wait 10 minutes sometimes to get out so I can um, just reach my sort of throttle thumb over and press the remote to start and stop both cameras which is great both cameras if I want or just the one on my chin if I want you can set that up before you go out. so I like that especially if I'm away on a bit of a longer day out so that's pretty much um, all I have to update you on a little bit of chat about the the new Insta 360 X4 a little bit of chat where I am with my um, DJI cameras as well um, and I must say as well just to finish off that DJI chat before I, I round it up because I am nearly in Calvin Town um, I have gone backwards from the wireless um, mic system so the original wireless mic works great still with the receiver sticking out of the side of your uh, action cam um, held on with the uh, elastic band my famous elastic band um, lots of you had a good laugh about that but hey it worked and actually it worked better than the new DJI wireless 2 mic because um, and I've addressed this with DJI and uh, well I haven't got back to me yet now and um, I'm a bit miffed about that because it's like oh well they don't care about motorcyclists but if you're a motorcyclist and you have the DJI Mic 2 transmitter inside your helmet, which is what I thought I was going to be doing. No wires, no nothing. Um, it, uh, it speaks to the Osmo Action 4 without the need of a receiver, because the 4 has a built-in receiver, which I thought this is incredible, and not least for ease of use, but also when you're out in the rain. You haven't got any openings on your camera to allow rainwater to get into. Um, which is what I've suffered lately, uh, which is why I'm using this new camera um, But the problem is you have to activate your camera every half hour to stop it and the microphone going into sleep mode Which is fine because normally I would be doing that anyway uh, I, I'm saying that I mean from your GPS remote to fire them both up, which is fine But the problem is in the latest software. This is crazy DJI now have the mic transmitter going to sleep after 15 minutes if it is not picking up a signal from a receiver i.e the camera which is ludicrous because i i was caught out so many times with that i then had to stop the motorbike take the helmet off power up the transmitter helmet back on and off i go oh my god it was to drive me insane so i've ditched that system and i've addressed it with dgi to at least give us the option to override that automatic cut off after 15 minutes now somebody uh, mentioned in one of the comments recently that if you set the TGI mic 2 up using the Osmo pocket 3 camera um, that the interface in the pocket 3 allows you to override the software in the transmitter so I did that last night and couldn't for the life of me work that out so if anybody uh, can shine any more light on that please let me know um, other than that, that's where I am with all of this incredible camera technology, and it really is, you know. Um, you probably, um, well, if you hadn't noticed, I'm going to point it out to you. I haven't mentioned GoPro. I'm not going to rant about GoPro, because I've come to the stage where I've made my peace with GoPro, because without a company like GoPro, we wouldn't be able to do this, because they invented it. They made it all possible. It's the other companies who've now taken over and uh, streamlined it and made it just incredible uh, gopro brought it to us um, gopro seemed to have no interest about taking it any further because they do not listen to their client base uh, and th their reliability is horrific on gopro i must get a at least 10 messages a week from people like myself motor vlog and i want to start out um, wondering how they can do this uh, with anything other than gopro so there you go. Um, right, folks, I have said enough, and I already said I wouldn't mention GoPro. I, that's a, it's like a trigger word in me. Oh, he's off. <laughs> okay, thanks a million for uh, tuning in to my um, words of wisdom on my beautiful VFR 800, my happy place, especially on a day like this. Oh, my God, it's just wonderful. All right, folks, uh, back this time next week, next Saturday. 
um, 8 o'clock on YouTube. You know the score, right? Safe, everyone. Have a great week. Dave Perry, really good TV. Over and out. <laughs>